In this example, we're going to learn how to do some decimal operations on the calculator. Use your calculator to compute each of the following and round as indicated. So first we have a multiplication problem and we're asked to round the result to the nearest tenth. So, notice the decimal point is here, so 4.32. Now the multiplication symbol looks like an asterisk times 3.32. I'm going to hit enter. Now it asks us to round the result to the nearest tenth. So here's the tenths place. There's the hundredths. This is greater than five, so I'm going to round to 13.7. 13.7. Let's look at the next one divide, so we have 523.14 divided by 23.56. There's our result. We're asked to round to the nearest thousandth. That's one, two, three decimal places. Notice this is five, so we are going to round up. So this is going to be rounded up to a five in the thousandths place. So 22.205. 2.205. Let's look at the next one. Here we're asked to evaluate a decimal raised to an exponent. Okay. So it's good practice to type something in exactly as you see it. So I'm going to use parentheses right here. 0 0.1 in parentheses. Okay. Now, here's something to note. There's a squared button right here, so we can just hit that squared button. Or, you can also, if you need something to the second or third power, you can always hit the caret. That's what this symbol is called, and it'll make a little box for you to type in your exponent. Now I'll hit enter, and this is our result, 0 0.01 or 1 hundredth. Then note, we're asked to convert this to a simplified fraction. Okay. And this is 1 hundredth, that's how we read this. So this would be 1 over 100. But I just want to show you how the calculator will do this in one step. This button changes decimals to fractions or fractions to decimal and simplifies them. So I'm going to hit this button and it gives us the simplified result, 1 over 100. So there's the decimal version and the fraction version. Now finally we have a string of operations. Okay. Combine the numbers below, round your final result to the nearest whole number. So, the calculator knows the order of operations, so if you punch this in exactly as it is, it's going to do this multiplication first, then it will add, then it will subtract. But you need to put it all in together, so let's do that. 3.721 plus 4.35 times 21.72 minus... 0 0.03. I hit enter, and notice we're asked to round our result to the nearest whole number. So that means this is the ones place, so that would be our nearest whole number. Look to the right, the tens place is less than 5, so our result is going to be 98.